Hey everyone, Cody here, and today in this painting I'm going to show you a large painting that I did. The painting was on flat, unrolled, or well, it was rolled, but I unrolled it. It was on unstretched canvas, so it was just a sheet of canvas um, that I cut off of a roll. The size was two foot by five foot, I believe, if I remember correctly. It's been a few days since I did it, but uh, so what I did is I, I had a roll of canvas, I cut it into the size that you'll see in the video. The paints I was using were white, black, silver, gold, and gray. And all of, it's actually, I think, all of the colors I used for Big Bertha right here. I still have not come up with another name for it. Anyway, um, in this painting, you're going to see that basically I put it on a large board um, and then I threw the paint on. The This painting was more of an experiment than it was an actual painting to, you know, to sell. Um, at the end of the video, you'll kind of see what it looks like. So what I did was I, I painted it because the, the whole painting itself is an experiment of just trying some consistencies, uh, trying a different technique, and then stretching the canvas myself, which the whole thing turned out okay. It, it was a cool experiment, but I'm still not to the point where I would be able to sell it because of some of the things that happened with it. So I'll go over them real briefly because I didn't talk over the video, so I'll just I'll explain them real quick now. There'll be music during the painting, and then you'll see at the end kind of what, what it looked like wrapped. So I basically laid this piece of canvas flat on a board, and then I poured uh, buckets, well, cans of paint onto it, uh, like splashed the paint on there, I let it dry, and then I put it over a 2 by 5 foot, two or 20 inch by 60 inch uh, frame that I took an old painting off. Actually, this, this was the painting that I had done, um, and I ripped it off the frame, uh, and then I wrapped it around the frame, stapled it, and that was it. A uh, couple of notes. First off, the board that I was using, uh, I think it's still outside, the board I was using was warped. So the problem with that is that you'll see as the paint begins to dry, it starts to pool into these little pockets um, and it actually pours off the sides of the canvas. The, the effect is cool. I mean, it looks kind of cool once it was dried. But at the same time, I, I really didn't like it. And um, I, I have that issue sometimes with these watercolor paper paintings. Uh, actually, this is a good example. So like these heavy, not that, but these heavy pockets are from pooling, from like it warping. And so the paint will kind of pool into the center. Um, so that was an issue that I ran into with this canvas because the canvas, um, I didn't tape it down or anything, and so because of that, it, some air got under it, and it also warped it a little bit, like it curled. Uh, but also, the board wasn't flat, so the board I was painting on kind of had these little pockets in it because it wasn't sitting flat because the wood has warped over time. And so because of that, you know, basically you have these little hills and valleys in the canvas, and again, this happens with my watercolor paper, where, you know, you paint on the hill, but then the paint slides off into the valley and it just makes one part really thin, one part really thick. Um, I think you can eliminate this a couple of different ways. I think one, by uh, taping it down, it actually helps. Uh, two, you have to have a flat level surface so that the paint, when you throw it on, it doesn't pool, it disperses. Um, so that's one issue that I ran into that I figured I'd share with you if you ever want to try this. Um, again, I didn't tape it down, so it did want to move. Uh, the canvas did move as I was painting, so that's also a challenge. The paint, so let's talk about the paint. Um, all black, white, and gray were all gloss enamel. Uh, that Edwards, the silver and gold are metallics. Uh, I forget which brand it was. I think I think it's PPG um, for the metallics. You can get them at Home Depot. Um, all of the paints were watered down. The paints were 
I think the paint was probably about 50 50 paint 50 50 paint 50 water 50 percent paint water um, but it might have been a little stronger towards the paint side so I, I actually didn't measure it out um, because I was running out of each color so it wouldn't have been the same amount per one but I think it was a about 50% if it was off it was probably leaning towards uh, thicker um, so on the side of the paint I threw them onto the canvas you'll see that they, the painting was actually turning out pretty good then I added too much gold at the end it still turned out okay but I added too much gold I should have stopped and I mean that's pretty much it then with the stretching um, when I stretched it it came out too loose I don't have canvas pliers, so I, I know there's some artists that actually get away without using canvas pliers. I'm not, not sure how because the few times that I've tried to stretch my own canvas, it always came out loose, even if I follow different tutorials on, you know, starting in the centers and then going to the other side and doing the center and doing this diamond shape and then kind of going out. It's always loose for me, but I think that canvas pliers would help with that. Um, but I didn't use them. And it was loose, but again, I don't plan on selling it. I just kind of wanted to go through the whole process from beginning to end. And it, it turned out pretty cool as a as a piece that I like to keep to look at. Uh, you'll see it at the end. So that's pretty much it, guys. I will head over to the footage of the, the painting. You'll get to see that painting. And then after that, you'll get to see what it looked like uh, stretched. So that's it. Let's head over. The lighting isn't the best in here, um, but this is the final painting. Now, it actually turned out pretty cool. I I stretched it myself. I'm still learning how to stretch, so it's loose. Um, this is actually only like the second painting I've ever stretched. So, <laughs> it is loose, but I, I don't plan on selling this painting. I'm just gonna keep it for myself, but it actually turned out pretty cool. Um, I might do more of these. They're really, they're really messy though. But the, just the design, of it is pretty flipping cool um but that was it guys that's the final painting i uh i think it's pretty cool but i'll catch you guys in another one take care